Well, we got down to this small river this morning with the fox cameras and we've been dead baiting. We've had some great action and I hope some of you guys can learn from what we've done today. I'm trying to show a few tips and tactics. Anyway, watch to the end because there's even a little surprise, but it's been a fantastic day and I hope you enjoy what you're about to see. Oh, we're away, we're away. Right, the float's just buried again after recast on the little wobbled sort of trotty trout. Uh, so yeah, wind down. I'm hoping uh, this one stays on. Check that clutch. Yep, we've got him. Nice in that flow, nice to be on the river. Nice bit of flow. Powerful fish, they don't have to be big to be fun. See my, you can hear my breathing, the old adrenaline going. It's probably only, I don't think it's a monster at all, but I love it. I love watching that float as well. Oh, come on. Oh, got to get down, downstream of him. There we go. Ewan, lovely, great fun, great fun. Right, pretty little, pretty little fish, river fish. Uh, got him on the mat. Make sure you got all your tools ready before you get the fish out. Uh, we're going to un unhook it. So nice. Let the fish calm. Never, never rush this job. Be prompt. Let's just have a look. Just gently, just chin it. Let's get those. Longer forceps. That one out first and then the top treble. Turn that out. Yeah, no need to panic with these fish, whether they're big or small. Treat them with respect. Take your time. And look at this beautiful, beautiful little river fish on that float fished trout just wobbling and just letting it trot, just being a bit active with it. We've seen a couple of fish strike as well. So, you know, the dead baiting, we've had, we have had a pickup off the bottom, but there you go. Beautiful fish, lovely marking, good fight in the flow, even at this size. And yeah, let's uh, return her very safely. Yeah, that's on. Well, we waited a little bit and I did say to Ben, I said, I bet we get one, then another one. And it's usually the case. This one feels okay. Just nice in that flow, you get the, the weight. And this was on that little, this little uh, alleged bit of lamprey. Real pretty fish, look at that. They're so pretty in here at the moment. Same sort of size. There we go. One on the float, one on the ledger, all in about five minutes. Uh, I love it, I really love it. Brilliant. Well, here you go, another bit smaller, a little bit leaner, but pretty and I love them all sizes. This one caught on the ledger rigger. Uh, We'll put that back out, but before I do, I'll show you that rig, really simple. And uh, you never know, we might even get another one. A quick look at the ledger rig. I've been using this system for a long, long time. A nice ledger stem that keeps it off the bottom and in these rivers and lakes, you get debris you want it free running, so it stays like that off the bottom, nice, no resistance. And then down to a simple trace, 
easy snap link there so you can change your trace quickly. Uh, braided mainline, uh, I suppose lastly, you want a heavy lead, you know, like three ounce lead. You know, you, you want it to stay in place when the fish moves and you've got quite a bit of flow on this spot here. So a decent sized lead. Uh, bait, whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to use this manky bit of lamprey that's already caused a pike. Uh, I think it gets better the more it gets chewed up actually and it's, it's leaking a lot of blood now. Uh, I've given it a couple of stabs. Nice bit of smelly lamprey, all that blood in this murky water, they'll soon find that. So yeah, let's uh, throw it back out there. Well, I'm about to put this rod back out for another cast. Uh, what I say is we're on a, you can obviously see we're at a good weir pull here. First thing I noticed was a good slack on that far bank. Uh, we even saw like a roach jump there. So you presume there's predators there. That's where we've had a couple of bites from. So yeah, it's going back out there into that slack. So with dead baits, I don't take loads with me uh, for a day, but always a nice little selection. Uh, lamprey, trout, two of my favourites. Uh, I'll always take some fresh baits, uh, fresh water dead baits as well. Uh, a roach we've tried today, we've caught on a trout. Uh, these are interesting. I saw these in the freezer, grabbed them. Little perch, very good and uh, not overused. Places like this, you know, they get fished. Uh, so try different baits, think what people haven't been using. Uh, we're now going to float fish this one. Uh, what else have I got in there? I've got some nice herring, fresh herring, always have some of those with me. And also I bought uh, a little pack of everything, mackerel, sardines, trout, smelt. Uh, so even if you just grab one of those to take with you, that's better than just limiting yourself to one hook bait. So a little bit here, just a simple float fishing set up for the river, inline float, uh, down to sort of a quick change egg sinker so we can adjust the weight. So you can fish this static on the bottom just by adjusting the stop knot up there. Uh, but what I'm doing today, what seems to have worked a couple of times, is I'm running the bait through. Uh, so therefore when we do that we want to sort of, I, I like to lip hook the bait with this perch here. So the front hook through the snout, one in the side, just like that. Give it a little bend and that will just twist in the water as it goes down. And then you can just tweak it back and let it go down. And it's a really good tactic. Uh, so especially when you've got the ledger rod out, that's just sitting there patiently. I like to be busy and uh, this method's caught me a lot of fish. Well, as you can see, we've moved swims. We've come a couple of hundred yards upstream and uh, yeah, I've been told this area is good. We've seen a few bait fish as we've put the gear down. And I mean, that's why it's important to travel as light as you can. You need your obviously selection of bait and all your gear, but make it nice and light and uh, don't get lazy. If it dry, it dried up there an hour without a touch. So yeah, I'm full of confidence now back in here. Uh, yeah, give it a go. There we go, there we go. That is a bite, surely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah there we go. Well, just position that mackerel under here and very shy bite, so, but it's definitely moving, so I'm gonna wind down, hit this one. Oh, I dropped it. It's been a bit of a struggle, it's getting late in the day now. We just leapfrogged to swim up, flicked a, a ledged lamprey there and I think something's got this. It is a 
sort of plucked, we see it plucked, so let's just hope it's on for you. It'd be nice to finish with one. Yeah, he's on. All right, stay on, you little monkey. It's nice putting the effort in. You've got to keep raving around some days, and uh, it's only a little one, but do you know what? When you've been struggling, I think, what we got here? We've got a chub. We've got a chub, I'll get excited now. We've got a chub and a stick. Oh my word. There you go, on the lamprey. Well, I'm chuffed with that. You can see that. That has nailed that lamprey. Unbelievable. Awesome. Uh, what a twist to the day. I've caught a few chub on lamprey, but not for a couple of seasons. So yeah, nice surprise when it popped up cracking fish and yeah I look forward to catching a few of these after Christmas with the proper chub gear. They're slipping back anyway. Well I've just put that chub back and I've got the float rod out and I mean it's that time of day it's been slow and yeah the, I've just put half a, a little mackerel on here and the float rod's gone so I'm going to wind down. Doesn't feel very big but River fish do fight, don't they? Even the small ones. Lovely. Well, that's brilliant to get a bit of action that close together. Smallest one of the day. Oh, watch the bit of wood. Come on, little fella. There we go. Might even have time for another cast, but yeah, it's all kicked off a bit. Brilliant. Right, you see this one is taking the mackerel bait. Hooks are down. Always start with a bottom treble. And look, the top one's just falling out. Yeah. Take your time. There you go. Beautiful little pike. Not my biggest pike, only small, but great fun. And that is what it's all about this winter. Getting out, enjoying these small rivers. Uh, we've had some nice action today. We've, we've worked for it as well, but... Yeah, cracking little jack. Maybe time for another one, but, ah, oh, great sport. Well, the light's now gone, as you can see, and I've folded the rods away. Gonna get home to a nice uh, warm fire, hopefully. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. It's always great fun on these small rivers. And, you know, get yourself out there, go and get the right tools, and most importantly, go and enjoy yourself. I'll see you on the bank soon.